Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I am a spiritual medium and reader, and today I've got a message for Gemini. And to let you know the way this works, I have asked my guides and spirit to bring through a message that will be specific and meaningful for you in a deep way. I am tapping into a collective energy. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, obviously, but I trust my guides and I know that they're going to give me a story that weaves both specific information for you, if you're the one I'm talking to, as well as a message for kind of the general vibe of what's going on with everyone who is a Gemini or who has strong Gemini energy in their chart. So I, encourage you and invite you to subscribe to this channel if you're new. It really helps you to stay focused and on track on your spiritual journey by getting consistent support and advice from the other side every week through these videos. And if you're returning, so great to see you again. Thanks for being here. And let's go straight to your message. So before I start, they were talking to me about the idea of self-confidence and there's a feeling that there's some lack of self-confidence going on, and that is forcing some pretty impulsive action. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. The energy around you is the hermit this week. So you're asked to kind of pause and look within a little bit more. Can you see that? So he's searching for his own truth, and the truth comes from inside, from intuitive knowledge, not from the outside, what other people think or other people are saying. Um, however, you notice these two cards are back to back. You're responding with the energy of the fool and you're just wanting to kind of launch yourself in a particular direction. And so you're being asked by your guides and by spirit to kind of look inside and take a little more stock of what's going on really figure out there's there's like there's this little piece of information that you're overlooking and if you would just sit for a second and listen deep listen inside that you would have this information um it's kind of funny because this is like a teacher energy and this is like a student energy and the student is like i don't need to listen to the teacher i've got it i can i'm just gonna go and i'm not saying this is an external teacher although it can be but i don't i don't think so in this case this is your own intuitive wisdom this is your own self your own wiser self that you're just really not wanting to listen to because you're so impatient to go this new direction to start this new thing and um on the outside there's kind of like bravado like you're like yeah i've got it i've got it in control everything's fine but on the inside that's not what's happening at all and I know this because of these cards. <laughs> so let's let's get to these. We've got the Ten of Wands. We've got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, two tens and a nine. So all of these are culmination in the end kind of energy. So we're at the end of something or the fullness of this energy. And this was a nine as well. Now in the tarot, which I love, about I love this about the tarot a 10 is not only the culmination but it's also a new beginning so we end something and we start something and that's the energy of the fool and the major arcana this is our beginning so we're wanting to get your new beginning off on the right foot and behind that veneer of vibrato, of vibrato <laughs> I'm sorry this is not a violin video <laughs> underneath the veneer of bravado this ten of pentacles i got everything in control i can do it we've got a lot of junk going on behind the scenes we've got anxiety and we've got a feeling of overwhelm so it's almost like you're afraid that to do the longer path or to do the truer path is going to be too much hard work and there's also a doubt that you can do it that's our nine of uh, swords here so the penta uh, hmm. The Ten of Wands is saying, I don't think I can do this. It's, or no, I'm, the ten, huh. I'm just getting all tied up today, aren't I? Because I think you don't want me to see this. It's funny because this is what you'd like me to see on the outside. Everything's fine, but on the inside, we've got, uh, okay, let me actually use words now. <laughs> so the Ten of Wands is saying, it's too hard. I can't do it. It's just too much for me to take on. And the Nine of Swords is also supporting those thoughts, saying, I can't do it. I, I should be probably doing it, but I can't. I just don't have it. And 
not only is this the card you're trying to show on the outside, but this is a message to you that sometimes the only way to get through something is to do the slower, more patient work. And the thing is, is it's a payoff, right? And for those of you that love hiking, I'm filming this in Colorado, and I love hiking. The harder the hike sometimes, the more, the steeper it is, the better the view at the top, the bigger the payoff. You could go on an easy little hike like this and you're not gonna see very much, but if you climb up this, you're gonna see so much more. You're gonna have gained a lot of strength in your stamina, your endurance, your muscles, your lungs from challenging yourself with this. And you get an awesome reward at the top. And so your guides are saying to you, don't shortcut. First of all, you're wanting to shortcut, not because it's right, but you're wanting to shortcut because you're doubting the longer path. It just seems too arduous. It seems like, ugh. <laughs> um, but because we are talking so much about new beginnings and ends of cycles, ends and beginnings, they're wanting you to wrap something up and start something new, but on the right foot not flailing yourself forward. This is like, I'm still on that hiking metaphor. This is like, you know, your first time you do a 14er and you forget to bring water or you forget to bring a headlamp. Like you forget to prepare properly for what's ahead. So that's the energy that you're trying to rush at something with. And your guides are saying, no, you don't have to do that. In fact, inside you in this hermit energy is everything you need. You just need to sit down and trust it. But alongside that, Know that even if the path looks impossible to you or looks daunting or looks arduous, that it's not going to be a problem for you. You do have this strength. That's the double meaning of this Ten of Wands card is that even though you're holding up a lot, you've got the strength to do it. And it's just like your guides aren't going to ask you to do something that, um, <laughs> that you don't want to do. And I think this just clicked with someone because the fool just fell on the floor. So it's kind of like that's not even in the picture anymore. So, you know, you've got it. All of this other stuff is just thoughts you're thinking that can be easily changed and you'll be up that 15 or I'll say with no problem. So if you've got questions about this, please reach out in the comments or just leave a comment to say hi. As I said in the beginning, this was a collective reading, and if you are interested in some more one-on-one, -on -one, just either one-off reading or more con um, con <laughs> consistent support, I do have a special program for that called The Phoenix Path. So I invite you to check out trueguidancetarot.com, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good week.